Greetings and good afternoon. I'm here today to tell you about a pony. How big of a pony? I hear you all gasp. Well, truth be told, it is only a little pony. But whose pony? I hear you all clamoring to know. Well, truth be told again, it is my pony. My little pony. I'm also here to tell you about friendship, which is unavoidable because for me and my little pony, friendship is magic. <laughs> really, this is what I've come here today to tell you about. The televised sensation My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. Now, I assure you, friendship is most definitely magic, though that title is a little misleading. After all, there are many more than one pony, and they belong to each of us. We are left to decide what they mean to us and how we'll make them a part of our lives. To aid you in this, I'd like to quickly introduce you to just a few. First, we have Twilight Spark, the principal focus of the first few episodes. Though at present the show is evolved to feature more of an ensemble cast, Twilight or Miss Spark is a learned scholar knowledgeable about many, many things. Tragically, however, her extensive education fell short on the subject of friendship. She is apprenticed to Princess Celestia, the powerful and magical ruler of the kingdom of Equestria, where our faithful cast make their home. Celestia has stewarded Twilight Sparkle in magical matters, but for the sake of science has tasked Miss Sparkle with researching friendship. With this aim, and your trusty and awful views the system of the baby dragon spike into her, Twilight comes to make her home in Pony, where the remainder of our principal characters can be found. So, next now in our whirlwind tour of Behooves geniality, comes Pinkie Pie. Born Pinkamina Diane Pie, Pinkie is the pony embodiment of laughter. Her zany antics and famously raucous parties bring joy and jubilation to every pony's face, just as her incredible musical compositions fill their hearts with song. Having come of age and earned her cutie mark on a rock farm, Pinkie is no stranger to productive work, and when not engaged in recreation, <laughs> she may be baking, found baking cupcakes and helping local small businesses. In that vein, her value, food producing labor, the expert production is apple jam. Who embodies the policy? Apple jam and her family in Sweden farms are the foremost producers of apples and apple accessories in the Pony Bowl area. Apples are a staple of the Pony diet, and so the tireless efforts of the entire apple clan preserve the health, vitality, and enviable lifestyles of each and every home. Applejack also provides a valuable can-do work ethic, whether it be clearing snow for winter wrap-up or working to benefit her fellow ponies in the orchard. Indeed, Applejack's powerful personality and physical prowess are matched only by her occasional rival and quintessentially loyal pony, Rainbow Crash. I mean Rainbow Dash. It has been well documented that every other member of the main six owe their cutie marks and, in fact, their entire purposes in life to none other than this lightning-quick, courageous master of daring do. It really can't be overstated what a total badass Rainbow Dash is. As a leading pony producer of attitude and awesome, she is indisputably the best pony in the cast and arguably the greatest pony who has ever lived. Just ask her. Also, she wants my five to fours. Well, well over on the other end of the awesomeness spectrum <laughs> rests the two worst members of our beloved MLP FIN cast. Fluttershy, and rarely, we'll get to her later. Fluttershy is the token bitch pony. She is shy quiet, lacking in perseverance, and in personality. She likes animals, which would be cute if she didn't let this obsession drive her to kidnapping and high treason. Don't get me wrong, Fluttershy has gotten the cast out of a few scrapes. Like that time she saved them from the manticore by sheer fucking luck, and her profound ignorance about creatures of myth, or the time she saved the cutie mark crusaders. Except let me run that by you again. She saved the cutie mark crusaders, which is bad enough and made her Sarah, zilch, compared to the special kind of vitriolic contempt I harbor for our last cast member, Rarity. Rarity is easily, and without contest or question, the worst thing to stand on for legs. Worse than the Hydra, who tried to kill them all. Worse than that Ursa Minor, who tried to kill them all. Worse than that Manticore, who tried to kill them all, and worse than Nightmare Moon, who tried to kill them all. Rarity is pompous. Self-obsessed, vain, jealous, bloody, shallow, delusional, and in all other fashions, unworthy of pony. She, her cat, and the remainder of her sibling kin, 
deserve naught but hard labor in the mines until their dying breath. <laughs> There's absolutely no defense for rarity. Finally, <laughs> I'd like to introduce a few of the notable background ponies who make weekly life in Equestria such a treat. This is Photo Finish, trendy fashion designer and creator of Symmetrics. Also, we have a prominent Derby Hoods, a recurring and visibly handicapped pony. Wherever our Emily Peepers go, mirthful laughter is sure to follow. Also, another fan of Darling is Dr. Who's. Ponyville's resident time lord is forever dashing about the background, setting time right so that our main cast may live blissfully ignorant of the terrible temporal turmoil which threatens constantly total disaster. So, that's an admittedly light dusting in the characters and a bit of a myth of my little pony friendship on that. I hope none of you rival too much, and that a few more people believe ponies. <laughs>